Let's look at some of the advanced routing techniques present in Express Web Framework of Node.js. Well, we had already previously seen the get and the post. Also, I had told you to look at the put and delete methods, overriding the default methods. Now we shall see how you could use multiple params and using regular expressions to formulate your routing definitions. So I have a array here which has some objects inside it which has key value pairs that is age and name. I'll quickly copy and have some duplicate values. I'll change the values now. Let me collapse this to get some room for my coding. Well now, think that this these values, that is array values are coming from a real database, maybe a MongoDB database. So you have a URL which has two params, that is from and to. So we need to fetch these individual values. Since we will be passing integer numbers, I'll parse this int and, and store it inside a variable called from. So as we already know, the values are present inside request object. Similarly, parse int the value of two. If you are already familiar with array operations, by now you already know the slice method. I'll be using JSON to output just to show you some more ways of outputting the data, not just send and render. You could even output JSON values to the browser. So name, names.slice and pass in the limits, that is two limits to fetch the data. So 0 to 1, 0 and 1, now 0 to 2, three values have been fetched. So this way, you could pass in two values, that is, in our case, two numbers, that is 1 to 3. We could fetch the data between these or including those numbers. Now I'll show you how to formulate this URL using regular expressions. So put your regular expression inside this to forward slash. Backward slash is escape character. We need to escape our forward characters, forward slashes, which we need to include inside our routes. So we have zero or more numbers after users and an optional edit and an optional trailing slash. With that, let us fetch the first params, that is the ID which the user passes in using request that params of zero. So params of zero is the ID number. If actually there is a edit in the URL that is params of one. We will enter into edit mode. Remember here you could just replace this text with some editing code that is connect to the database and fetch the data and facilitate the editing and updating of the data. Else I'll just cut this and paste it here. Maybe just like a view mode. Oops, I think I have put a regular expression inside single quote. Oh, this is a habit. So remove this single quotes because these regular expressions need to be evaluated in runtime. So now it's working. Now get to the edit mode with slash edit and you get into editing mode. The ID is present in params of zero. Yeah, now it's working. Okay. 
let us differentiate it i'll add viewing user id so this is just the viewing mode and slash edit is editing mode you could substitute these displays with the actual editing and viewing code which would in fact require database interactivity so this is advanced routing techniques present in express of node.js share this video with your friends on google plus linkedin twitter stumble upon facebook etc stay subscribed to technotip.com and don't forget to like this video on youtube